This is Benny Stocks. They're getting ready for their 25 by Kingsley for green. Have you noticed if you're new to Lake County Speedway, once we move into our green flag program, Chaz Vittable, it does not stop. We keep rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. And all the while, it is Brandon Clements and A.J. Sanders in the early going for many stops. Absolutely, Brandon Clements and A.J. Sanders putting up a heck of a battle. Sanders able to pull up to his rear bumper going into turn three. Looks underneath coming off of turn four, but Clements is gonna hold him off going into one. So the mini stock feature underway, of course, seven in front to number seven in a Swansboro or Hubert, North Carolina, Brandon Clements. The number zero is Jason Adams, but all the while, A.J. Sanders right on his back door, the defending champion of the mini stocks here in Wake County last year. One of the regulars at Bumming Gray Stadium. You know the Madhouse, they cranked up very soon as well in Winston-Salem. And all the while, that native making the trip and looking to defend his title, but one of the greats of late models and even mini stocks, Brandon Clements leading the way. It's gonna be interesting here as the leaders catch a lap car, lap car moves to the top, but not without slowing Brandon Clements down just slightly, allowing A.J. Sanders to close in there for a moment. Five laps completed, now working lap number six of 25. With Brandon Clements, the man out in front. A.J. Sanders in the second position. Watch him down to the inside with Adams. Adams now having a little bump and banging, if you will, with one of those cars. As that car gets out of harm's way, if you will, Chaz the double zero. Jason Adams moving up safely to third down. Absolutely. Double zero looking to close in on the leaders. Cost flag would help him out quite a bit. Gotta wonder, gotta wonder if he'll get that, uh, what do you call it, that Denny's Grand Slam caution flag from the Capitol Chevrolet flag stand. But for right now, no harm, no foul, and it's still Clements out in front, back to one and two. Absolutely. With the number 24 of A.J. Sanders continuously looking inside of Brandon Clement, not able to do anything with it. Clement floating it perfectly up to the top, coming off of each corner, able to carry so much speed down the straightaways. Look at that 54 machine, the driver out of Walnut Cove, North Carolina. That's Justin Owens. And all the while, now we pick up the leaders again off turn four. Picking them up, putting them down. 10 laps in, 15 to go. Here at Wake County Speedway, the Eagle Rock Concrete 165 of the 60th season opener of racing. Straight down the front, straight away up the hill. Allows the opportunity. For, well, Sanders just been capitalized. He just can't reel him in, and we're coming to halfway already, Chaz, all four. Clicking off the laps quickly here. 13 laps now make it 12 to go. All the while, Justin Owens now trying to close in. And lap traffic now in the way of the leader as Brandon Clements will clear by him on the bottom. Sanders will follow up the inside, down the back straightaway. Ten laps to go. It's going to be interesting here as your leader, Brandon Clements, closes in on this number 54. 54 has been at a pretty good pace. It might be a little bit difficult getting around him. Let's see if he will move up the track, down the track, and let your leaders go by. If not, we're going to have Sanders knocking on the door. Caution, trouble, back straight away. Up against the outside retaining wall, Jason Adams that has now come to a bottom of the apron rolling stop. I, I think he might have lost power to his car. Very much, Dennis, understand that there was a spark plug wire issue there, something amiss on that car. But anyhow, the choose rule, you can go inside. Everybody can go to the inside, top three cars. The man in fourth can go to the outside. Lap later, you're battling for the lead. Like, they're battling for the lead to the back straight away to turn three. And if you weren't watching, Jason Adams made his way past that number 54, right on the restart, dove it in real tight. But he's just sitting, watching this 24, and number seven of Brandon Clements and A.J. Sanders do battle. He says, I'm gonna hold back here, see what these gentlemen are gonna do to one another before I make my move. Back to turn number one, Clements. Jumping up in front, 
Sanders back to car links, they go to three. All the while, Adams back with power again, and he's up to third, some kind of wire issue we mentioned. And now he's up to that third position. To the finish, Hunter, flag stand, Capital Chevrolet starter stand showing five to go to the seventh. Absolutely, Brandon Clements able to space himself out, pull away from AJ Sanders a little bit, give him some breathing room. We'll see if uh, AJ Sanders can make his way closer to uh, Brandon Clements. Cause him to slip up and maybe get by him in these closing laps. All the while, the double zero of Jason Adams holding tight with those front two. Keeping pace from that fourth position on the restart, he's now up to third and evenly spaced to the number 24 of AJ Sanders. Laps winding down, three, now make it two laps to go, this time by from Hunter on the flag stand. All the while, it is number seven, Brandon Clements leading the way. AJ Sanders could have been playing possum, trying to reel him in, he can't, he's losing ground. Five car lengths, maybe more, around America's favorite bull ring. White flag in the air, final time around for Clements in one. AJ Sanders, see if he can figure out anything, try to pull up, but I think it's a little too late. Brandon Clements bringing him out of turn four to the checkered flag. He is your 60th anniversary mini stock winner of the evening. What a